What's going on guys, Matty Russell here and welcome to my backyard. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through an update of the in-ground garden bed as well as having a look at the aquaponics. Let's get into the video. Here I am in the in-ground garden and as you can see there's a whole bunch of nut grass that I've been pulling out of the garden beds here. It's literally taking over and has grown quite prolifically uh, this season. I was hoping that after laying a whole bunch of wood chips and sugarcane mulch on top and then making my rows out of uh, various different compost that I had laid out here that the nut grass would just be knocked back by the amount of stuff that had been put on top of it well unfortunately that's not the case and it is shooting through all over the place every day I'm out here in the garden pulling weeds and I guess that's part and parcel of growing food in the ground I'll show you in a minute around the other side of the backyard where we have the aquaponic system and you just don't have that weed problem within aquaponics primarily because it's actually raised off the ground uh, but also because the media is rocks and water is constantly flowing through there you can really identify weeds as soon as they germinate and pull them out quite easily in as much as we've really been struggling with this garden bed this season with the nut grass and the invasive weeds that are growing in here uh, we've only got about six weeks of this season fall uh, here in autumn in australia and at the end of that, we're obviously heading into the winter season, in which case I'm going to cover this whole entire garden bed with a tarp in order to block out the sun. And we're gonna do that over winter for the three month period so that hopefully by spring, we've killed all of the weeds within this area. Um, I'm also going to lay down a whole bunch of manure um, and some more wood chip possibly before I go ahead and lay the tarp over it. Getting the bed ready for spring, in which case I'm gonna be growing some Butcholokia ghost peppers and uh, hopefully by the end of summer we'll have a great harvest here of ghost peppers which I can use to make some chili sauce out of so we're looking forward to that but at the moment we've got spinach and red Russian kale and tomatoes in this section of the garden here and they are actually all doing quite well I've actually already began to harvest some of it today and I'm gonna harvest just a couple more uh, red Russian kale leaves which we'll put in a stir fry for dinner tonight and I'm also gonna get some bok choy that'll go with that out of the aquaponic system. So I'll take you along on the journey with me and uh, give you a look at what we got growing on. Well, we got some great looking spinach here, guys. And as you can see, it's that good that the bugs and the caterpillars have already gotten to it. So I have already harvested a bunch of leaves off of these plants here, but we're also gonna take a couple more I'm not growing for bugs, I'm growing for us. Food for the family, grown in your own backyard. Doesn't get much better than this, does it guys? Let's get some red Russian kale. Red Russian kale is doing absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I'm gonna harvest just a couple more leaves from a few of these plants here to go with the leaves that I had already harvested earlier. Again, we've got some bugs, but I don't mind. I'm gonna give them a good wash before we stir fry them. And I'm going to get to these leaves before the bugs do. And then perhaps just this leaf here. Beautiful. Tomato plants over the back there are doing quite well. And as you can see, there are some clusters of flowers coming through already. These are uh, cherry tomato varieties. And can't wait to get a bountiful harvest of these in the next few weeks. As you can see there. Nice little clusters beginning to form. Happy days. Now we've got some silver beet here and I'm just gonna leave that in the ground for now and let these leaves get a little bit bigger before we harvest them. Behind me here we have the aquaponic system and the plants and the vegetables in the aquaponic system are absolutely going gangbusters. So let me turn the camera around and give you a look. Here guys, we have some snow peas and they are just coming along really nicely. 
I'm actually hoping that they can grow down along the cyclone fencing here, but I'm not sure. They have a tendency to want to grow up, not down, so we'll see how they go. I know eventually they're going to get too heavy that they will fall down, and hopefully from there they begin to make their way down to the ground. I'm fairly confident that's what's going to happen, but check out these letters starting to get a good solid head on that there. Got a number of different varieties here, some loose leaf, some loose leaf lettuce here. And these lettuce are just doing absolutely amazing in the system here. As you can see, absolutely beautiful. In this bed here, we have some broccoli in the front row here and cauliflower up the back. Still a few weeks away from even beginning to produce heads on those, but patience is always the game here. Look at this bok choy. This bok choy is absolutely beautiful. Just coming along fantastically couldn't be more happier with that again we have some damage from caterpillars so i'm going to get in here today and harvest quite a bit of this to go with dinner tonight stir fry now we do have a little bit of a yellowing on the leaves here in just these couple and as you can see this bed here is quite full of not only the bok choy but also tomato plants over the back there and so in a system this big with the limited amount of fish and the size of the fish that we have in the system at the moment. These guys in here in the aquaponics system are actually only about 160 to 180 grams. And so they're at least going to get twice, if not three to four times the size of what they are in this system, in which case they'll be producing a lot more waste, a lot more ammonia, which would be converted to nitrites and nitrates for plant food. But at the moment, We've just got probably a little bit too many vegetables growing in this system and as you can see with the yellowing of these leaves it's an indicator that they're not quite getting enough nutrients so i'm going to go ahead and add some seaweed solution mixed with some fish emulsion just to supplement the system a little bit Now when it comes to adding this power feed in the system, I like to just put one cap full about once a week in each of the three beds. But let's go ahead and harvest some of these leaves from the bok choy. Come in here and break that off. Look at that, beautiful. Get another one here. Look at the size of those leaves. They're going to be absolutely beautiful in a stir fry tonight. And I think we'll grab one more from this plant here. Fantastic. Well, the fish are certainly hungry. They're looking really healthy, eating quite well. As you can see, they snabbled that food up fairly quickly, so I'm gonna whack some more in there and give them a bit more feed. there you have it there's an update of my in-ground garden bed as well as my aquaponic system i hope you enjoyed the video if you did why don't you hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you can stay updated when the next video goes live and we will catch you in that one